I'm here today to talk on the theme, Decision Defines Destiny. And I would like to start with a question to all of you. Do you believe in destiny? That your life is already written and that you have no control over it? Let me answer. Destiny is not something fixed. It is something that we create. Life presents us with a number of choices. It's up to us what we choose. So choose the life you want to live. Choose by making confident choices, committed decisions, and taking actions. It's rightly said that it's not in the stars to hold your destiny. It's in you. And I strongly believe that among all the wonders that we have been blessed with as humans, the most powerful thing that we have got is the power of free will. A life is full of choices. And these choices that we make in our day-to-day -day life decides our success and failure. So as every action has a reaction, every decision that we make has a consequence and these consequences have the power to define our destiny. If I'm here today as a TED speaker, it's because of my decisions in the past. If I've been mentioned by Forbes in the prestigious edition, India at 75, it's because of my decisions in the past. If I've been mentioned by Forbes and then I've been uh, awarded Times Excellence 2021, it's because of my decisions in the past. After completing my engineering in computer science, I could have easily moved out of Patna to some bigger cities or maybe even flown to US as at that time there was a dot-com boom and everyone was looking for a safe IT career. And when my, my friends were all planning for a job in TCS and Wipro and Infosys, I was planning for my own Microsoft, my own software company, a Microsoft from India a Microsoft from Patna. I was not from a business background. My father was an engineer in chief in the irrigation department. One of my uncle was a vice chancellor. Another uncle was a chief commissioner in income tax. So everyone was in job, a government job. And that was expected from me too. And I even qualified for a government job through BPSC, but I knew that if I enter into the job, I'll not be able to pursue my dreams. So instead, I worked part-time for some organizations. I taught in colleges. I gave IT training to students and continued with my passion of building my company. As soon as you decide for entrepreneurship, the guarantee goes. Initially, I made a lot of mistakes. There were long, wrong planning, there were mistakes in hiring, and errors at different levels. Every time falling and then standing back again was not easy. It required a lot of courage. I kept myself motivated by reading books on entrepreneurs and their success stories. My father was very fond of Urdu Shari and we have a lot of Urdu books at home and I also read some of those motivational shares and one of my favorite which I like to share here is Girte hai shah sawar hi maidan e jang mein Girte hai shah sawar hi maidan e jang mein wo tifl kya gire jo ghutno ke bal chale but that decision and those efforts were worth it as now the company is doing well and we are getting a lot of recognition. Recently, we were awarded with Atal Achievement Award. It was a program organized uh, in the Vigyan Bhava, New Delhi. It was a call from a professor from University of California. And she wanted one session uh, of mine to address her students there. And uh, it was an online session in which 
I interacted with the students of UC Davis. Uh, the students were brilliant. We had a very good discussion. Uh, the students uh, from the University of California got to know how we Indians uh, think on entrepreneurship and what is our way of uh, taking uh, new startups. But the important thing is that the call from the University of California to a company in Patna. Then there was a student doing his MBA from Imperial College of London. He mailed me and he WhatsApp me that, sir, I want your interview because he wanted to uh, present a case study of an emerging company from India in his MBA thesis. So these few events were very motivating for me as well as the entire team of my company as a systems. I was not a very brilliant student, but I was not a bad student either. I did my schooling from St. Michael's Patna. St. Michael's Patna is a very good school, but the Michael's of our time, ah, it was a different school. Every parent wanted uh, their kid to get admission in St. Michael's. Every student wanted to study in St. Michael's and I did my schooling from St. Michael's. After my school, I went to Patna Science College for my intermediate. Now, Science College Patna is yet another dream des uh, destination for intermediate as at that time there were only selected few uh, schools with plus two and intermediate was uh, considered to be the part of the college education. And every student from Bihar who was uh, getting out of class 10th uh, wanted to study in Science College Patna. I did my uh, intermediate from Science College Patna. With this background, obviously, there was a lot of expectation. Expectation that I'll do my engineering from IIT. Expectation that I'll get into a good government job. Expectation that I'll go out of Patna, out of Bihar. And then there is a perception in the people living in Bihar that after your education, if you do not go outside Bihar, you are not successful. And for many, you are one of the most unsuccessful person. I remember when I was doing my PhD at BIT Mestra Ranchi, my PhD guide, Dr. Sabina Priyadarshini, she is a lovely lady. Whenever she found that I was not putting in the efforts that was required into the research work and those publications, all those stuffs, she used to tell me, Amir, bas thode din ki baat hai. Thoda sa aur mehnat kar lo. And just imagine, once you complete your PhD, you can even go to US. And I was like, no ma'am. And she was surprised, why? And with this perception, when you are living with people with this mental thought process, if you take a different decision, obviously there is going to have a lot of chaos. Although my family, my well-wishers were with me, supporting me, but there were a lot of people who were not at all convinced with my decision. And there was a lot, lot of negative talks going on, negative vibes in the air, and then kuch to log kahenge. Kuch to log kahenge, logon ka kaam hai kahena. छोड़ो बेकार की बातों में कहीं बीत न जाए रहना। Singing songs and having fun here with all of you is easy when the company is doing well. But back then, early on, when the company was struggling and there was a lot of negativities going on and negative thoughts, negative talks going on, at that time. Absorbing all those negativities required a lot of courage, required a lot of fire in your belly. And it required that self-belief and conviction that my decision will get proved right one day. And now, when the same people 
many of them, when they see me on television giving expert opinions, when they see me in newspaper, when they see my photographs on magazine, magazine covers, they have started talking positive. And they try to connect, they want to associate, and some of them even come with their kid for mentoring and for job in our company. So I'm happy that at least I've changed the mindset of some of them, if not all. Here I like to make a very important point that decision alone cannot be a ticket to success. It has to be complemented and paired with a lot of hard work, determination, passion, conviction, and self-belief. Like for a bird, two wings are required to fly. Similarly, to reach our goal, we also need two wings. If one of them is the decision, the other wing has to be the hard work and motivation. And to reach the sky, both the wings have to be balanced. Both the wings need to be strong. There is an idiom, very popular, Asman ko chulena for ultimate success. And we have a very good example in Rakesh Sharma. Rakesh Sharma, we all know, went into the space. He is the uh, only Indian citizen to travel into space, although there are few more people from the Indian origin who have been into space. I was going through his biography, and I was like surprised and amazed to see the kind of effort that man has put in before traveling into space. Three years of rigorous training, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of determination, and a lot of uh, self-belief that I can do it. Or if our passion is in us, the passion that we आसमान को छूना है मुझे हमें तो वो हम कर सकते हैं। It was proved by Rakesh Sharma. Yes, decision defines destiny. We have very good example in M S Dhoni. We all know M S Dhoni because of his decision. Had he continued in the Indian Railways as a ticket collector, the world may not have got one of the best wicketkeeper batsmen ever. India may not have got the most successful captain. But it was not only his decision to play cricket, but there was a lot of hard work and effort required in it. And he left no stone unturned to make those all those efforts which was required to become a successful cricketer. Hum logo ne suna hai, mahi maar raha hai. माही मार रहा है, but उस माही मार रहा है के पीछे माही ने कितना sacrifice किया है, that is important. He showed the world that to shine like a sun, you have to first burn like a sun. It might be tempting to think that people like Dhoni are simply destined for greatness. But his life has been one decision after another leading him to his destiny of excellence. His dis decision determined his destiny and he became one of the most successful cricketer. Under his captaincy, India won ICC T20 World in 2007, then again in 2011, the World Cup in 2013, the Champions Trophy, the most by any Indian captain. And he also led India to victory in 2010 and 16 Asia Cup, apart from so many bilateral series. Ultimately, what drives decision making is also linked to the level of hunger you have. Achievers, people who are determined to succeed are hungry for success and that hunger helps them to make wise decisions because decision can make or break a person. So work hard, be motivated, have that self-confidence and believe that yes, I can define my destiny. With these words I'd like to conclude. I'll share uh, some very beautiful lines. I'm sure it will keep all of us motivated. 
تو اپنی خوبیاں تلاش کر خامیاں نکالنے کے لیے لوگ ہیں نا اگر رکھنا ہے قدم تو آگے رکھ پیچھے کھینچنے کے لیے لوگ ہیں نا سپنے دیکھنا ہے تو اونچا دیکھ نیچا دکھانے کے لیے لوگ ہیں نا تو اپنی الگ پہچان بنا بھیڑ میں چلنے کے لیے لوگ ہیں نا تو اپنے اندر جنون کی چنگاری تو بھڑکا جلنے کے لیے لوگ ہیں نا تو دنیا کو کچھ بن کے دکھا تالیاں بجانے کے لیے لوگ ہیں نا تھینک یو تھینک یو